And into the 80s, we have the Peugeot 205 GTI, the Vauxhall Maestro GTE, the Ford Escort RS, and even the dear old MG Maestro, all great hot hatches vying for the first place. Yeah, I'm a massive hot hatch fan because for the last 15 years, actually, I've had a, a Mark II Golf GTI, essentially, round really. and <laughs> But a few years ago, the hot hatch market kind of died a bit of a death, and manufacturers weren't really making them. But now, thankfully, they are back big time. Yeah, it seems like there's a new hot hatch out almost every week, and of course, the next one we're looking to come out is going to be the Persia yeah, GTI, which should be something quite special. That's not out yet. So what we've got here is the best six that are on the market today. We're going to put them head to head in a series of three branch matches. Starting with an Anglo French affair, because lined up on the grid there, we've got the Citroen DS3 sitting alongside the Ford Focus ST. Now, of course, Jeremy drove that too. You might remember the story on Tom Gill and Citroen around the streets of Monte Carlo. He was very impressed with it, he thought it was brilliant. So, for that reason, I'm backing the Ford Focus to win this one. I can't argue with your logic. However, if the Citroen was good enough to keep Jeremy out of the barriers at Monaco, I reckon it's good enough to win here. So, I'm very happy to try to have a point. Yeah. Over to you, Mr. Starter, to find out. Just a few more corners to go, but I'm hoping this is where my Citroen can come good again. Oh, 